This illustration deals with accessible as applied to equipment, NEC Article 100. This definition was necessary so that electricians would not get confused with readily accessible. We had a definition for readily accessible in Article 100, but we did not have one for accessibility as applied to equipment, so we hope that this new definition will straighten out that problem. Now, the main purpose of the change, uh, this revision was made to clarify the definition of accessibility as applied to equipment. The revision clarifies that accessibility as to electrical equipment and so forth is capable of being reached for operation, renewal, and inspection. This change will, uh, I guess, closely correlate with the definition of that of accessible uh, and readily accessible. For example, if you had a suspended ceiling and you could remove the suspended ceiling tile to have access into the attic, uh, to a junction box and so forth, that's accessible. So that's considered what accessible would be. But they wanted to clarify this as it applied to equipment, and this new definition will do exactly that. Now, for example, first you have to have a person in charge, which is Article 100, defines this person, uh, and NFPA 70E defines this person for safety. Uh, secondly, electrical equipment has to be accessible as applied to electrical equipment. Thirdly, a label uh, has to be placed on the equipment, and if you put a nurdle on it per OSHA, then it would have to also be uh, accessible and readable. And notice we can find those regulations in Article 100 and OSHA 1910.399. And fourthly, uh, equipment has to be approved. So you'd go to Article 90.7 and uh, equipment in transit, the inspectors and electricians would check that to make sure the equipment hadn't been damaged in any way. And then the installation of the equipment has to be made by 110.3 biz and boy and C is in car. 110.2 kind of gives you the rules uh, for accepting equipment and basically says equipment has to be approved. So uh, we would look up uh, approved and that's up to the authority having jurisdiction. Then we'd look up identified and identified uh, goes into how equipment would be accepted according to the informational note. We have some examples there given of how equipment would be accepted uh, according to a non-classified area. You get into classified areas, you'd go to 500.3A1, and that goes through the, your procedure for accepting uh, equipment.